Okay, we're looking at section 4.4, proving congruence using SSS and SAS. First question might be, what does SSS and SAS stand for? Side, 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 and side, angle, side. All right, we got our nice little triangle working here. And we're basically going to have two triangles. We need to compare the two, and we're going to say if they're congruent. Um, if they're congruent, then you would have side, side, side or side angle side at this point. Okay, um, I don't need you to write this whole thing down, but what I want you to do is draw the picture here. Okay, so draw this um, triangle, and then go ahead and draw this triangle, and notice how they have a mark here for one, these sides are congruent, two marks here for these sides being congruent, and three marks for these sides being congruent. And that is basically side, 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 okay? So if you could just put SSS above your pictures or below your pictures or next to or whatever, boom, we're good. SAS, go ahead and draw your pictures. Basically, if you have two sides in what they call an included angle, and then over here it's congruent to two sides in the same included angle, then you have side angle side congruency. You can say, hey, these triangles are congruent. Cool, because that's what we want to know. Are the triangles congruent? All right, example one, determine which postulate can be used to prove that the triangles are congruent. I'm just gonna write it here at the top. Our two choices are side, 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 angle, side. Please note the angle has to be between the sides. Okay, if it is not possible to prove that they are congruent, then we're gonna write not possible. So I look down here, I, I see that I have an angle, and I have a side, angle, and then I have a side. So if I work my, way around, work my way around, I see I have side, angle, side. Well, does that match up with this other one? We have a side, we have the angle that's congruent to this angle, and this side is congruent to this side here. So they are congruent, so I'm going to say, yes, they're congruent. Okay. And I don't want that word postulate to scare you. It's basically your choices are SSS or SAS. <clears throat> um, and we're going to say that we're proving them congruent by using SAS. We're saying, hey, they're congruent. Okay, we have another picture here, example two. Once again, which is it? SSS, SAS, or not possible? All right, so you're looking at this, and I see I have a side. And I have a side that's congruent to this side. This side is congruent to that particular side. And you're like, well, no, it's not SSS. It doesn't look like it's SAS. But here's the sneaky thing they do. Look at this line right here. Look at that. Super highlight that. Isn't that, the line, isn't that line the same for both triangles? It doesn't change from one triangle to the other triangle. Now, I don't know if you remember from algebra one, and this is a property we'll cover down the road here. It's called reflexive property. Basically, if that same thing, like this segment, is congruent to itself. All right, and if that's the case, if this segment is congruent to itself, I can't draw. I'm not going to draw one other segment. It's right on top of it. Then it is congruent. So side, side, side is congruent to side, side, side. So we can use SSS to say that these triangles are congruent. Oh, that's just weird, isn't it? Determine which postulate, SSS, SAS, or not possible. All right, so I'm looking here. I've got a side congruent to a side. I have an angle congruent to an angle here. And the same thing happens. We've got this line that's the same for both of them. Okay, so that's congruent to itself. So I have an S that's congruent to itself. So I have SAS. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking at this one. I have side, angle, side. So this one follows my SAS. But let's look at this, because now you're like, yeah, I get it, SAS, everything has SAS. Well, this has an S, this has an A, and this has an S as well, but it's not the same. Because here, my angle is between my two sides. Here, I go side, angle. If they were congruent, then the congruent side would have to be this one. So I'm going side, angle, whoa, 
ignoring a whole side, and then say the next side is congruent. And there is, I know what you're all are thinking, there is no A S S postulate. It's bad to say, and it's bad math. All right. So these are not possible. These are not congruent. Can't use either one of those postulates that we have. Okay, here we go, example five. I have a lot of them here, but I just want to go through so you can see many examples here. I have side, side, ooh, side. That's my reflexive segment. So this side goes with this side, this side goes with this side, and so I have S, S, S. Make sure you draw these pictures. I want these in your notes, okay? Just a quick picture of each one of them. It takes a little while to draw. Press pause. Side, side, side. Matches with side, side, side. Number three. It looks like I have a side, an angle, and it would have to be this side to be SAS. Because right now I have side, angle, wait, 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 come around the corner, miss an angle, miss a side, then I get over here. So this is not SSS, and it's not SAS. So this one is not going to be congruent. So there are no postulates to say that those two are congruent at this time. All right, and look, I've got S, 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 I've got S, S, S. I mean, that we should be almost looking at right now, going side, side, side. All right, this one, I go side, then I have an angle, then I have a side. Notice I'm not skipping over any angles. If I go this way, I can start here and say side, angle, side, and the same thing happens over here. So this is congruent to this using S, A, S. Lovely.